Hi there, it's Ruth from RV Art. Today we're going to be painting some mandalas using various acrylic paints. So if you'd like to grab your paints, grab your dotting tools and join me. Right, today I'm going to try and do the OM symbol, which is to do with symbol in Buddhism and contemplation and I'm just using the pencil because I do just need to find out where the middle is because that will be the middle of my symbol. So it appears to start the line there A line there okay and then it seems to be stylized three which comes to there and then that one comes to there so if I pull that down a little bit then this comes around to a point and then back round again to here then we have from here comes up down round to a point quite thick into a point then up here we have like a smiley face <laughs> that's all I can describe it as so if we have a line there and the point where it ends there it basically comes down to that point and down to there and then up above there is a square I don't know if you can see that Just let me bring that there we are now that maybe need to be a little bit closer so I think I will redo that when I'm painting it because it's black on black I think I will paint it white so I can redo it then but I'm going to go with this off white which is actually I've used it before the white antique it's actually a very nice color okay so we will start here and because I'm painting it I can change tweak it if I need to so and then anything I don't like I can tidy up because it's just black gesso on my canvas. So like that line's a bit fat so I will come back with the black gesso and tidy that up in a bit. I did paint this on a stone a while ago in my youngest 
fell in love with it and took it. So <laughs> he has it. I was only going to put them in the garden because I do. I love the idea of painted rocks, especially at the moment when there's nothing in the garden at all. I think it's lovely that I've got colour because I've got some painted painted mandala rocks. Oops, that was a knife. I know this isn't the most exciting, but shows you how you can. Now I've drawn it freehand. There are templates on the internet, Pinterest, and Google if you wanted to download one. A little bit scared of doing it freehand, but then don't forget, you know, you, you're drawing it in pencil. What's the worst that can happen? You have to rub it out. You know, it's not a disaster. And when you're painting things, I find anyway, very rarely finish with what your, your lines anyway. I mean, not being funny, but I've totally changed that. Um, all right, so coming from here, I'm quite happy with this bit of the sign. It's the little bit above the top, but I'm not happy with so that. will get changed. Just notice that this is a bit thinner, so I think I'll probably thin that out with the gesso. But this bit is quite thick and fat, so. And it's not very round either, but this bit is. And there we go, around the corner, so just for the sake of interest I might speed this up a little bit. Now this bit over here, I think, needs to start thinner, come out thicker, more like that. There we are. Turn that round to about there, come straight down there, and join it there. Okay. So yeah, I think that's a little bit, I'm a little bit happier with that. And this. little diamond. Okay, so that's basically the symbol. I will go over it with this. 
just to try and get rid of some of the brush strokes. And to even it out a little bit. And don't again don't worry if it goes over because we're going to get rid of we're going to finish it off in black gesso anyway. We just need to get rid of the brush strokes. Now I know there are specialised dotting tool dabbers as I call them but I don't have any. So what I use is the Donna Dewberry scruffy brush and for me that works fine. There are, I think Martha Stewart does some, if you Google them. Where would we be without Google? If we don't know something, we Google it. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay. Right. So now I need my black gesso, which is here, and my brush, which is here, and my paper, which is also here. And I'll just dry that off. And then we can, and this is just the Windsor and Newton black gesso. So I used to, when I first started out, obviously I only knew the Bob Ross, so I always bought Bob Ross goods. But over here in England, it's not that easy to get hold of them. So I'll just get rid of that pencil mark as well. So I've had to look for alternatives. And the Windsor and Newton paints as well they're not actually that different they're quite thick sorry i'm concentrating they're quite thick so they do work for the they're thick enough for the um wet on wet technique I'm just trying to get rid of any those little edges of of paint marks. I'm just going to turn this around so that I can get into this curve a little better. Tidy up that line a little bit. Um, so coming down here. And there, okay, there we go. There we are. Um, where am I going next? Here. And these brush marks and everything will just blend away into the, because you're using the same colour paint. Tidying up the edges of the symbol well, also gives you the chance to fine tune your painting paint. until you're happy with it, alternating between the black and the antique white. Off camera, I used a compass to create the circle frame around the OM symbol, which I will show you when I've finished faffing with the painting.
Right, I just want to show you this. I've decided, there you go, you can see it. I've put a double circle round. So I've decided to put a frame round the um, um sound. It, it, I just thought it might pick things out a bit. So I think I'm going to go start with I've got a nice range of sort of pinks, but I did a pink last time, a couple of times ago. So let's try, shall we do our Richard of York? Start with the red, work it round. That might be a good idea, but I think I'm going to outline the um sign. Oops, pardon me, it wasn't me, it was the paint. That's the white, that's okay. Right, I'm going to start using this one, which is a hobby craft paint, and it is called just pale green. And I'm going to start here. And I'm just going to dot my way around. I'm getting about three dots between between loading. So again, this is a slightly thicker paint, so I found if you don't press so hard on the first dot, you might get a couple more out of it. And now all of a sudden it's decided to just do two. Well, that's a bit big. Beginning to look like a nice cake. On previous Mandela's, I've mentioned before that I do find painting them very, very calming. I have did look up um, about the OM symbol and it is a sacred symbol and it's generally known as the sound of the universe. It's all encompassing and unifies all in the universe. It is used in yoga and is hummed usually while meditating. As you know, I do yoga, but no, we do not sit around cross-legged, fingers with the circle going, mm. no, we do lots of exercises and quiet contemplation, but you get the idea of the um symbol. <clears throat> okay, so that's that colour done. Um, I think I will go with some blue, which is again, it's a hobby craft paint, ultramarine blue. Just dot around. 
around the inside. With the yellow tool, but it's the same tool, but I'm using the other end. So again, I will speed it up or trim the length if it looks like going on too long. Okay, and there we are again. <clears throat> and you'll notice that when I've come to the point, I've let the dots run into each other. Okay, I think the colour of the colours I've got, I've got purple here. I'll give that a go doing the same thing so starting here I'm just going to put one dot in the middle yep. and then I'm going to do two Well, I can't really do two anymore and then I shall run these into one Okay, I will speed it up again. Right. Now what? Now what colour? I think I'm just going to fill in what's left with this one which is the Pabeo and it's Palmer and I'm going to use the smallest, the smaller side of the yellow I think I'm just going to fill it in And that's that bit. So I think I'm going to take the tiniest, which I think is the white, and I'm just going to put a little tiny touch of this in between there just to bring it all together just a little bit not a lot and with that one I'm just going to double dot there now what's going to go I'm going to put in some yellow 
I think it needs brightening up. Shall I? Right, I know what we're going to do. With the white one, find the top bottom. So that was the, just the red, Good orange. And five of each colour. And see how far round we get. Now I do realise I'm going to have to space the top ones closer than the bottom ones. try and keep them level and I'm only shading this here because the sun actually blocks out my guidelines I found this out last time I really need to put a blind on that window but not long seen the sun I don't often see the sun in winter so green have we got? We've got this Hobbycraft one which is just called Greenery. And it's not a very bright green. What about that? Green gold. Yeah, that's, that stands out a bit, doesn't it? So we'll have that one. Now I know it's blue next, but I wonder if I can mix might mix quite well actually a better blue. a different blue and that will tie the two blues in then maybe 
don't know if I've made enough there, but we'll see. I don't need much. A little bit more than that. It's not a very good way of dotting, I must admit. But I'm stuck with it now because I've started at one, two, three, four, five. So the all I've done is I've mixed the green, pale green, with the ultramarine blue and come up with this sort of what I would call an Air Force blue so that I've got the darker blue which is of your game battle in, yeah. So that I can do the darker blue. Sort of like the indigo. I think my fire's gone out, so I think it may be time for lunch, nearly. I've had to let it go out because the bottom grate, right, violet, what are we going to do for violet? Palmer, Palmer violets. And then we'll start over with the red. But I do think I'm going to use this middle section. No, what I'll do is I'll turn it round and I'll start again. So I need to make some more of this. Pale blue for me. Just mix it in until you think the colour's about right and then push it all together so that you've got something to dip into. 
Mm, that's about the right colour, I think. Okay. All right. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to knock you over there. So we'll start with the red again. And red. See where it takes us. What colours can I put in the middle there? I think I'm going to go back to the red and I'll just put. Why don't I so use the bigger one? Aim for the middle. Don't know how this is going to work out. It might not. It's worth a try. Oh, that's far too much. I don't think it's going to work because I'm going to end up with another purple, aren't I? Perhaps I should have gone red there. You can always dot over them when they're dry. So. But I like the idea of having red, 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 red. So I'm going to carry on. And maybe if I work it out right, I won't need an extra purple dot. How's that? Maybe. Back to the blue. No, I am going to need it. Because this blue is a bit thicker, I am actually making the dot round.
don't forget this is the mixed blue so I'm not setting it straight down anymore because obviously it's been out and the sun's been on it it's not round so I'm helping it and what's next you go And then my violet. I am deliberately doing a bigger dot over the other sides because they don't quite meet up. Yeah, there we go. Now I'm going to take the red. A little end of the pink with the red. Just building a pyramid. Make a little triangle of snooker balls. If you find yourself unable to complete a pyramid of colour because the OM symbol is in the way, then just complete as many rows of it as you can and then the OM symbol will look like it's sitting on top of the pyramids. look too bad actually I'm quite I quite like this do like it when I like my work in case you're getting bored with the mandalas I am actually preparing a canvas for um, a wet on wet landscape it's just as I explained I had loads of these little canvases and they just seemed so perfect for the mandalas so I thought I'd do a series of videos on the mandalas and then go back to 
to the um, go back to the unless of course you want me to carry on with these and if you do then please let me know in the comments put your thumbs up if you like it if you want to subscribe if you want to see more of these videos then so just let me know because i come up with all these paintings and things but i do need to know if it's what you want to see i would like to try and grow my channel as much as possible because i'm actually doing less craft fairs this year so i really need to be pushing the uh my website and my youtube channel because all of these mandalas all of the paintings that i do they're all available on my website which is rbart.co.uk i'm just trying to remember there that that is the extra dot to do with that lot so i mustn't do that one so this way it's one two three four Right, I'm going to make this join up. So that it looks like well, this one is just a dotted mandala. I don't think I'll do any fancy. I know if you hear all the shaking, it's because there's the drains in the road. And they come loose because we've got huge, great, big combine harvesters. Being out in the country, we get combine harvesters, tractors, all sorts of fun things coming on the road. So we finished that bit. Now obviously I know mandalas don't have the right way up, but this one's going to have to. <clears throat> I think what I will do is with some pinks. Just 
also a few little flowers. And be careful where you've just gone. I'll fix that later. Yeah, just a few little flowers. I'll do them in various colours. Got a pale pink, I'll do a pale pink as well. I will show you my, me fixing that by the way, I won't leave you to wonder well, how on earth do you fix them. I think I will do a yellow one. to do a yellow one in the middle here. Yeah. Just to add a little bit of colour. Right, so where's my black gesso? Where would I be without my black gesso? Oh so difficult to open the lid. My little brush. Hang on, where did I squash that down there? I need to do, I've got some paint splashed on here anyway, so. Right, so wait for that to dry and then just dot over it. So back to the pink blotting tool. And you do, I can't remember which end I did, but I think it's that end. It looks about the right size dots. One, maybe that end. One, two, one. And that's it fixed. Okay, so that's that. I don't think I'll put anything on the corners. I think I will just find my... Is that? No, that needs washing. Um, no, that one. And I will just put my little initial in the corner there. 
I use red, you don't have to use red, I just... Okay, this brush isn't very good. Try that one. That one looks a bit better. Not brilliant either, but there we are. Not fade away, but that's all right. Now I there we have it. That's the end of that um, particular mandala. Let's say from here on. Well, from tomorrow, I'm going to do. Um, some big painting because that's the last oh no there's another square down there but i think i'll give the mandalas a break if you like seeing the mandalas please let me know in the comments um if you'd like to see some more paintings please let me know again in the comments everything is available on my website rbart.co.uk and thank you very much for watching please like share, subscribe, click the bell, you know exactly what to do. See you soon. Bye-bye.